Today I'm going to show you guys a fairly simple mod to do on the Grand Am and Alero Malibus. Uh, we're going to be bypassing the heater pipe to the throttle body. Uh, basically what that does is it pumps uh, coolant through your throttle body to warm it up to keep it from freezing up in the winter. And uh, we don't want that for the summer anyways. Um, so we're going to bypass that. Uh, fairly simple here. So we'll start out to uh, show you guys. So just about a 15 minute drive. Temps up full. We'll just get a reading on uh, what the upper intake says for uh, how warm it is. So we got the laser thermometer here. And that's Fahrenheit as you see. So we're about 142 degrees Fahrenheit. So then we'll uh, do the bypass and uh, see what temperature difference is. All right, so uh, the engine's cooled down quite a bit now. Uh, I got my bucket here to catch some coolant. Uh, first things first, start by getting the, get the air box out of the way, and then the air intake tube. Uh, but before that, uh, if you don't feel comfortable, start uh, by disconnecting the battery. Um, I don't usually, so I'm just going to leave that connected. Uh, since I'm not really doing any big electrical work, so I should be okay. So now we can get a better look at, uh, throttle body hoses here. They basically just go in each side of the throttle body. One there, one on the other side. The other one's right down there. So, um, easiest way to do this is to grab another throttle body gasket, and remove the throttle body, and then you can bolt it all back on after. Um, I'm probably just going to bypass it while it's on here. I've done quite a few of these, so um, shouldn't be too bad to do while it's on the car for me. Just give the hose a little twist, just to crack them free. So this one I'm going to have to pull the the upper clamp as well to get that out of the way. All right, so I've decided I'm just going to pop the throttle body off real quick. It's only uh, like four more bolts. So I just have the two bolts on top, one down here for throttle cable bracket, just a nut, one more nut for the throttle body. It's on a stud right there. And then be two bolts and uh, I can pull this off and give you guys a better look at what's going on here. Just pop that cable off. The other cable here. So here I just uh, loop these around. Come on the top. A little bit of a pry there and I come right out. That gives this uh, bracket some room to get out of here. Set that down there for now. It's one thirteen mil. Now this bracket should move just enough to get that out of the way. 
I'm going to loosen that top bolt first. And it's just the bottom stud here. So for this last stud here, I'm just going to use a wrench because I don't want to pull this whole tube off and just cause uh, more potential leaks. Here, just crack it loose. Cool it holds off right here, and we're out. All right, so I'll just give you guys a better look at what we're doing here. So this is the coolant lines on the bottom. It's basically just a cast boss in the bottom of the throttle body with a little pipe going through. And just the warm coolant flows through there and heats up the throttle body. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a hose the same size and just loop these two hoses. And that basically just bypasses uh, the throttle body heater. Um, if you can get caps, you can also put those on there as well. But uh, I just got the hose, a few feet of 3 8 hose. Um, just coolant hose will be fine. Uh, this is all I had in stock was a uh, transmission cooler line. It's a little overkill for what I'm doing here, but uh, and it also costs a little bit more. But uh, it's all they had in stock at the time. So I just got a boat. Two, three feet of uh, that stuff. All right, so I just fished the hose back around the, the bottom of the intake here. Now I just gotta make sure there's no kinks in the hose, and then I can uh, basically just cut it off where I need it. So I'm just gonna go probably right about here. That should just give me just enough to get on there and. Leave enough slack so it's not all bound up when uh, the throttle body goes back on there. I like to use gear clamps when I put the these back together. What happens is with the spring clamps that, that they come with, like. Uh, these ones here on the throttle body um, what happens is they start to lose their tension after a while especially after you release them from the factory and try to reuse them again uh, so they can cause leaks on you um, I just like to replace them with gear clamps after that way you don't have to worry about it and put a new gasket on. Alright, so I got the, the hoses off. I'm just going to clean up the back of the throttle body. And while it's off, I'll clean up the throttle blade as well. Alright, so I got my gasket here. I got this from Rock Auto for about, I think it was like 75 cents or 89 cents. It was less than a dollar anyways. They were on clearance. I bought like 10 of them. Uh, also got throttle body all cleaned up. All shined up, ready to go back on. Just use some uh, air intake cleaner. Let it soak for a little bit, scrub it off. Stuff works pretty good. So now we just uh, put it back together. Uh, basically the reverse of taking it apart. Alright, so it's all back together now. 
Next thing to do is to top up the coolant. And then we will bleed the system. And it looks like I'm going to need a new cap on here. Alright, so it's next day here. We're up to temp. Now we'll see what our intake temps are like. It's pretty warm outside today, a little warmer than it was uh, when we last checked the temps, but not by much. So we'll uh, see what kind of temps we got after uh, another 15 20 minute drive in the heat. So we're a little bit lower, not a whole lot. So we uh, dropped a couple degrees there, uh, not a whole lot to what it was. Um, could be just a little more heat soak today. It's a little more noticeable when uh, it's cooler out and you get a good cool charge into the engine. So I just wanted to add that there is more reasons to do the throttle body heater bypass than just for a little cooler intake temps. This wasn't the greatest example of showing the intake temps um, after doing the mod. Uh, you'd see better results if you had the temperature sensor in the plenum itself before and after to get a better idea of what the actual intake temps are. Uh, what would help to bring the intake temps down even more is use like a, a phenolic spacer or some kind of heat insulator be between the upper intake and the lower intake. Uh, that would help stop some of the heat transfer from the, the lower intake since the lower intake still has coolant running through it. Um, that would help keep things a little cooler and probably result in a little more power. Um, the other reason to do this mod is if you upgrade to the 65 mil throttle body, it uh, does not have any coolant lines going through it. With DLX5 throttle body, the 65 millimeter uh, Oldsmobile Intrigue throttle body from the 3.5 short star they call it. So that's the, the other reason to uh, bypass is if you're going to upgrade the throttle body, that way you're not uh, having to deal with that at that time when you do actually swap your throttle body. So hopefully you guys uh, learned something from this. Uh, maybe try it out yourself. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've done this or if you're planning on doing it and uh, what your results are from actually doing the bypass mod. So uh, that's it for today, and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.